There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm heavy. I'm heavy, boy. He is down there and he's not moving. Oh, wow. Okay. Yup. I've never seen this technique before. It's a very <laughs> interesting technique. That is such a beautiful fish. Wow. What is up all you addicts out there? I am so excited for this video that we have coming. This is a special premiere that we worked on down in Coos Bay with some really awesome anglers. So get excited for this video. Some really, really cool stuff happened. But we're standing in our new little showroom because I wanted to show you guys. My really good friend M painted this mural on the wall for us. We got the Addicted Hunting Elk on the side, painted the massive Addicted here. And then we got one of our slogans over here, which is educate, entertain, and inspire. And then we got one of our slogans right here, which is once the addiction starts, it never stops. So what we're doing in this area, guys, is we're gonna create a little showroom where if you local, we're in Richfield, Washington. So we're gonna let people come hang out, see stuff, feel our shirts, touch them, try them on. We're gonna have like a tackle wall right here. We are gonna have some special coon shrimp that we're working on with a couple local brands. So we're really excited about it. It's coming soon. I don't know when it's gonna open, but you guys will see when it opens and we'll be able to announce it. And last but not least, if you didn't know, right now on our Addicted website, we're running a special sale. Buy one, get one free on all of our Addicted hats. Any Addicted hat that we sell in Beanie, you just buy one, get one free, use the code free hat, add both the hats into your cart and it'll take one of the hats off. We appreciate the support so much guys. It's been crazy to see the sales on the website. We wouldn't be able to do any of this without all you guys. So let's get into this banger of a video. I'm excited for you to see it. and We'll see you on the river. So here we are, we've made the four hour journey to Southern Oregon and I can't be more excited for this trip. And to my surprise, we show up to where we're gonna stay and it's probably the most glamorous situation I've ever been put up at on a fishing trip with Addicted Fishing. Holy moly, look at this place. I think we got the presidential suite. We got a freaking bay view. Pretty sure I can see Washington from here. And a tisket, a tasket, I got you a gift basket. <laughs> Check it out. Even got our name on it. Beautiful. Welcome, Jordan. Enjoy your stay with us. The marketing team. Thank you so much, Mill Casino marketing team. You are the best. Let's see what we got here. No way. A super fishy wine corker. Wow, that's worth its weight in gold. We got some Big Daddy Max barbecue sauce. <laughs> the popcorn, naturally. Ooh, fish barbecue rub. Dig it. Oh, come on now. Chocolate dip pretzels. And best of all, a coat. That's sweet. Wow. Zip life couldn't get any better. It's awesome. What a place. So the marketing team at the Mill Casino put us up in an amazing room, probably one of the nicest hotel rooms I've stayed at in my life. It was a beautiful setup. And again, you guys, thank you so much for the accommodations and for the gift basket. Oh, oh yeah. Mm, mm. Oh, that's a good cup of Joe, boys. Only the best here at the Mill Casino. Breakfast of Champions. A little bite. A little slurp. Mm, that'll get it done. Woohoo! We made it. Good morning. Good morning, buddy. Thanks for having us. Yeah, welcome aboard. Let's go on an adventure. Let's do it, man. So we've been invited down here by our good friend Jeff from Pacific Pond Outfitters. And these guys run an absolutely classy operation. We get down to the boat in the morning. It's a sexy boat. It's all clean, ready to go. Crab pots are full of bait and we're ready to head out on this adventure.
The conditions as of 6.34 a.m. on the Coos Bay Bar are as follows. In all areas, two to four foot long miles. Winds are light and variable. Visibility is six nautical miles. Currently, the bar is not restricted. However, that's all. So first goal of the morning, we wait for the bar to open up. The Coast Guard gives us the go ahead. We head out and start tossing our crab pots in. So the goal on this trip and how it was advertised to us and, and the way Jeff explained it was that we were gonna be live bait fishing for Lincoln. So the second goal of the morning, get some rockfish in the boat and ultimately try to find some smaller ones that we're gonna be able to use for bait later on in the day. Oh, sick! Are those humpbacks? Okay, on the way out, guys, we're bumping up and down, headed to the grounds to fish, and I see a spout come up. There's whales. We're setting up upwind of them, and we're gonna drift down to them and see if we can get a good look at them for you guys. This is so cool. These things are freaking huge. Where are they at? Where are they at? They gotta come up for air sometime. I don't know what they're doing right here right now, but there's probably some sort of feed, but like they like the high spots, like the rocks where we're gonna fish, so we'll probably see more throughout the day. Yeah. Maybe cool. some porpoises. Maybe we can see the speak whale to them. <laughs> that was more walrus, I feel like. Yeah. A little more walrus than whale. I need to work on that. First sign of life. Yeah, I gave you the yeah. There you go, Jordan. Ah! <laughs> I got an itchy trigger finger, everyone. I keep losing them. There we go. There we go. Now he's on there. There we go. I'm all bent up. I'm all bent up. Here we go. I'm gonna do the easy route. <laughs> the grouper route. Edge of the boat. Just crank this bad boy up. Oh, oh he's taking line. He's a fighter. Woo! Oh, we're in the into the orange line. You know what that means? Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah. He's head shaking. First taco of the day. That's a jumbo, Sean. Oh! Jumbo! Oh my god! Another giant! Oh my god! <laughs> Jumbo! <laughs> Look at this thing! Holy moly holy! <laughs> what a crazy looking fish too! Beautiful! First double up of the trip. These are canary rockfish everybody. Look how absolutely gorgeous these things are. Wow, I can see where they're called canary. What a neat looking fish. Beautiful eyes, beautiful markings on the cheek. Incredible spines down the back. Very sexy and tasty. Woohoo! Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, First work. one's in the boat. Let's keep going. I'm gonna let it load up a little bit more, guys. We've got three hooks on there. We're gonna see if we can't use all of them. Oh, yep, there went the second one. He just picked it up. And let's wait for number three. Yep, that was number three right there. Coming up. Oh, that's a full load there. So what's happened, you guys, is I think these rockfish have followed each other up closer and closer to the surface, fighting on these baits that we've been dropping down. So these, this thing only made it 100 feet. We're in 360 feet of water. So pretty cool. Man, something's going on here. It's either a bunch of them on there or it's heavy. Nobody knows. Oh, 
Huge, huge link. No, just kidding. Oh, both of them together look like a giant link. <laughs> that threw me out. Coming in. Oh, one came off. Oh, it's just paint job. I didn't even know you had one. <laughs> nice and quiet over here. Jumbo Canary. All right, so we're gonna switch over to live bait. So yeah. We got enough of these. There's so many rockfish here that we uh, we can't just uh, put a piece of bait on the bottom like a black label or anything. We have to literally throw the biggest bait we possibly can at it. It's just like insane. So you can see what he means here, you guys. This is the bottom. That's the rockfish. Pretty insane. So the goal here is to not limit out too quickly. We can only have about 15 total fish on the boat because there's more species that we're gonna fish for today. So we're gonna switch up, put on a big bait, see if we can get a big fish. 100%. So this is what we call a helicopter bait. So what's gonna happen is we put this fish in the water. It's uh, hooked in a bridle, just like what you do with a mackerel or something down south. And you send it to the bottom, he's gonna swim in a big circle, just like that. There's no way you can get to the bottom today uh, with anything else than a rockfish, so <laughs> we're gonna send a rockfish down. Guys. Yeah, send him down there and see how it goes. And so like that, that looks heavy. We'll do the check. It's either bottom or a fish. Kind of heavy. Bottom. Yeah, really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not. Oh! No, that's it. Oh, ha, ha. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, hold up. Oh, oh, oh. Jeff says, no, I think that's bottom. And then all of a sudden we realize it's not bottom. So this has a high probability of falling off. But no, you go. You no, do it. No, no, no. No, no. no I don't no. want to mess up. I want you to mess up, okay. not me. We're going to back this down. That's a good one, bud. That might be oh, our Oh, and steady wins the raid. That might be our fish for the day. Oh, God. Come on. Hey, Jordan, can I give you a piece of advice? Don't f this up. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do my best here. I'm just holding on for dear life. Again, the mouths of these fish are extremely soft, especially when they get bigger. So we're just going to slowly bring this thing up. Hopefully, he's got both those hooks in him. The nice part about this electric reel is it just keeps that constant, perfect pressure. Oh, wow. Yeah, big head shakes. Dude, I think he came off. That was a real deal, bud. Damn it. So that fish never quite got hooked, you guys. You can see on the back of this bait where that thing had grabbed. You can see the teeth marks. Oh, dang it. Bummer. Heartbreak number one. I didn't realize really what we had on here. Jeff knew, he didn't want to overplay it. I could tell he didn't want to get too over anxious and, and be too sad in front of us for losing that fish, but that was an absolute giant, you guys. That was the fish we came for, and we almost had him. Okay, whenever you're ready on the next video, you got, there you go. Wide okay. Open. Rockfish? You think? Probably a big rock. Ah, it's a link. Oh, this is going to be kind of interesting. This is not what we think it is. Oh my god! <laughs> that is a... What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, we got to get to keep him, right? No, we got to whip this guy. Oh, Come darn on. it. <laughs> Woo -hoo, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a fish that's protected. Uh, in Oregon and Washington in particular. In Alaska, you can keep them, but we're gonna have to release this one. We're gonna have to deflate his air bladder and then send him back down to the bottom. Look at this thing. And they're not joking when they say the golden eyes. Really, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eyes on this thing. That's just a swim bladder there. We'll deflate that back down. And as that thing goes back down to the bottom of the ocean, it'll shrink back inside of its body and it'll turn out all right. Oh yeah, he's there. Let him eat a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. oh yep. Yeah. He's all there. Oh, no slap. There we go. There we go. Oh yep. Yeah. That's heavy. That's a heavy boy. Oh, 
Yep, okay. Okay, something's happening here. That's heavy, that's heavy. We have not moved him, he's going back to the bottom. 118 meters. He is down there and he's not moving. <laughs> I'm nervous. Uh, oh, God, no, no, don't do that. Go on. Sea monster number two lost, you guys. I'm gonna do my best to not get frustrated. We've only lost two fish so far. I've heard a lot bigger horror stories than this, but that was heavy. I couldn't even get the thing out of the rod holder. I was really anticipating getting to see that thing. We want one that can eat Sean. I think that might have been the one. Ugh. Am I doing this wrong? Or are these things just hard to catch? I don't know. I mean, the way this thing was pulling down, the amount of force it had going back down to the bottom and how I barely moved it the entire fight told me that it was a big one, but it's gone. So after we've lost these two fish, the decision is to head out to the deeper water. We're going out to 1,200 feet deep, everybody. This is by far the furthest I've ever dropped a line down into the ocean in my life. There's multiple different species that we can catch out here at this depth. We don't know what's gonna bite with every single drop, which is the most exhilarating part of it all. Well, we've lost sight of land nearly. We're 18 miles off in 1,000 feet of water. Who knows what kind of beasts are down there. Nonetheless, we got one on already. Let's see what it is. This might take a while. That might be something kind of cool, actually. Hopefully it's just a giant black dog. Coolest part about where we're at now is like we were saying, like just said, where it's, there's only a few different species that we'll catch out here. One's halibut, one's a really, really unique style of rockfish, and the other one's a black cod or a ling cod, so I guess there's four. Or is there a possibility of getting ling cod here? Yeah, there it is. is. But nonetheless, one of my very favorite fish to eat of all time, a cod, might be on the end of this. Yeah, that's 100% halibut. <laughs> that's like such a halibut head shake. Ugh. Unfortunately, you guys, the halibut season is not open uh, anywhere in the Pacific coast where we're at here in the Northwest. So if this thing is a big white belly halibut, we're gonna have to watch it swim all the way back down to the bottom and cry the whole time. Well, I were saying it's a halibut. As you're seeing the way the rod tip's bouncing up and down, these fish are flat, obviously they're coming up and when they shake their heads, they have a lot smaller head shake than a normal big size fish that's not that flounder shape. And the way this rod tip keeps bobbing up and down is screaming halibut. I hope it's not. Okay, about 40 feet down, so let's see it. Heavy, whatever it is. Oh my God, you got your first. <laughs> Oh. And he snagged on the other side of the boat. Oh. Okay, we found him. <laughs> First ling, I was way wrong. It had it was head shaking like a ling cod. That's what it was. Yeah. Yes, everybody, ling cod in the boat. Woo! Right here, brother. Woo! Sweet. Well, there he is. The first ling cod of the trip. Not the ones that we had on before, I guarantee you that. But a beauty nonetheless. Such a unique creature. Such a mean face, too. Wow. Nonetheless, that's dinner. <laughs> Trusty plastic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is it? Oh no! <laughs> wah, wah, wah! Oh, he's so pretty! Oh, he's so pretty! Damn it! Never thought I'd say damn it when I had a halibut on the end of the line, but here we are. He's got to swim back. Bye bye! Good luck, you dog. When actually is halibut season? May 1st. And that's like kind of your forte. That's one of the things it's like your favorite thing to fish for. It is, and it's pretty cool. In Oregon right now, um, it's actually opening. Uh, so between May 1st and October 31st, but we're gonna have unlimited depth season starting May 1st, which is unprecedented, so. Unlimited depth? Yeah, so. Oh, cool. You know, Normally you have to be over, what, 800 feet sometimes, 500? You usually have to be within 240 feet, so 40 fathoms to the beach, but this year we actually get to, to spend some time out here in the deep and come right back where that fish just came from. So, ah. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah. hate watching it swim away, but that was awesome. First halibut of the trip. Bigger than we 
Ini duble ya. Jumbo. <laughs> That's a taco, burrito, enchilada. We got weight. We got weight. Oh, 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 oh. So I'm gonna try to do this time. It's probably improper, but I'm trying to back that reel off a little bit when I see him pull really hard. That way we're not gonna pull that thing out of his mouth and rip his lips this time. Oh wow, okay. Yup, that is the thing. I've never seen this technique before. It's a very <laughs> interesting technique. High level of concentration is key. <laughs> Going forward. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one! <laughs> 25! <laughs> Brother! We did it! We got him! We finally. did it! We found the one, baby! Look at that monster! The method worked! We got our big one! Oh, baby! That is such a beautiful fish! Holy smokes! It's like 18 pounds. Wow! Wow, to eat the whole camera. Look at that thing, guys. It's a good one. Woo. Probably pushing 40 inches, maybe a little bit bigger. The giant fins. Ugh. Everything about them is beautiful. There he goes, there he goes, he's on. Yeah, trying to toggle the joystick. Toggle. Oh, whoa, 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 holy crap. That might be a 30 pounder there. We bro. got a big one. I just tightened that drag, I'm gonna loosen it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. My strategy here is every time that rod almost touches the water, I back off so that it's not pulling too much pressure on the lift of those link rods. But nonetheless, he is not making much pressure. He's got 49 fathoms. It's a long ways down there still. He's barely making way. So this is our last link rod of the day. After this one, we're limited out. And from what we saw earlier, we can all tell this is the one we've been waiting for. So I'm tagged out on that last fish, so it's Sean's turn now. He's gonna have to grab this thing and put him in the boat for us. Let's switch cameras, buddy. Get ready, Sean. Oh, he's not moving. He's not moving. It's not moving. This is heavy. It's really big, dude. This is by far the biggest one we've had all day. Maybe not, but that's what we're going to tell ourselves. Sean, if you see that thing beat, you got to start reeling fast, okay? Oh, God, that's a really good one. Holy crap. Got him! <laughs> oh boys! Holy crap! It's a monster! Oh, <laughs> brothers! Right there, teamwork oh, all dude, around! He's not even hooked! Oh my god! Look at that! <laughs> he choked on a rock pit! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Alright, Sean, put that rod in the rod holder. Let's get you Oh up. my god! Oh my god! Sean grabs the rod, lands this thing, and the biggest link cod any of us have ever seen is in the boat. Look at this beast. There you go, Sean. Holy Canucks. Oh, it's bigger than you, Sean. It's bigger than you are, dude. <laughs> Look at this thing, everybody. Might kick on you, bud. Oh, wow. It's all right, yep, just keep him down. Just don't let him go. I can't believe this just happened. Wow. There we go, dude. Done. <laughs> wow. That is just a gnarly face. His head's bigger than mine. <laughs> Electric everything in this outfit. <laughs> 
This is fishing in the 21st century, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a couple of them in there, boys. <laughs> One, two, three. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Got him. How many did I say we're going to get? <laughs> a couple. Six. <laughs> <laughs> I love that optimism. That's all. That's what it gets you. Oh, yeah, start tossing them. Oh. Another measure. Two. Ooh, that's a keeper. Yeah, baby. Beautiful. And they are thicker than a snicker this time of year. Well, we got some meat. God. No. One, two, three up, one, two, three down. I'll just get the little ones out. You pick up your big ones. Okay. What an amazing day so far. We got all our rockfish, we got our link cod, and we got like 30 crab. This is gonna be a good feast, everyone. So commences the chow, everybody. I've been looking forward to this all day. Today was actually, we didn't show it because I was a little embarrassed. So today was the first day I got any kind of queasy on the ocean in a long time. So I got an empty belly and a big hunger for what we're about to eat here. Today we're doing blackened lingcod burgers. A first for me, a first for a lot of you out there. We've done this with halibut, we've done it with sturgeon before, but today it's the lingcod's turn to take the stage. I'm gonna cut these bones out real quick right here. Follow them right down, just like so. And there we have it, berg number one, berg number two, and berg number three. That might be berg worthy right here too. Berg number four, why not? So for a seasoning on these, I'm gonna go real simple. Got just a little bit of the Kinder's black and rub. So we're gonna go pretty hefty because a lot of this stuff comes off. It might seem like I'm over seasoning, but really, ultimately, in the end, it's not. Well, these are healthy bergs. These are healthy bergs, everybody. Talk about the flavors of the sea right on the bait deck here. Seasoning up our fish. Bringing the mojo for tomorrow's amazing day of fishing. So you guys stay tuned throughout the episode. We still have an entire day and a really interesting day tomorrow. I'm not gonna give it all away, but the way we're putting in the boats, one way that I didn't even know was possible. And uh, we're going after even a bigger fish tomorrow. So the goal is we got our biggest we've ever got on camera here on Addicted Fishing today. I'm very proud of that. Jeff, thank you so much for an awesome day. We're about to taste the flavors of it, but tomorrow's a new day and who knows what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna let that seasoning sit on these for just a little bit and get the rest of our dish ready. Our next and arguably most important part of this dish is our sauce. We're going nice healthy bit of mayo, some mustard, ketchup, jalapeno. And my favorite, the Grillo's pickles. Absolute must have in a dish like this. I'm gonna cut them up relish style, nice and small. 
We don't want too much size of these because you want to be able to get a little bit of pickle in with each bite of that burger. Right in there we go. Maybe even add a tiny bit of that with juice, a little bit of vinegar to go with it. And then, last but not least, some fresh dill. I'm gonna go heavy, I like my dill. What's the big deal? Okay, now that that's made, take the fork, whip her into perfection. Mm, that's a big deal. making lingcod burgers. I see two different types of lingcod, right? Yep, yep, and this one's a little crap appetizer. The crowd already knows, and if they don't, they should. But my little instant potato recipe, this is gonna be a little more a little fish and chip style, but it's not gonna go with the burgers. So I'm doing the instant potatoes. I got a garlic parmesan seasoning going here. I'm gonna dump these things right in those potatoes. And after we're done cooking the burgers, and still have an appetite somehow, we're gonna throw these on the, on the pan. Give them a little shake, shake, shake a roo. I like to let them set in there just a little bit longer than normal. That way it'll get that potato nice and tacky. It'll stick to the outside of that fish. And we'll have ourselves a good fish and chip ready to go. All right, time for the celebration. So what we're gonna do here, you guys might have seen this before on the seven day series, one of the videos that just came out. But that little bit right there in my opinion, it's the best part of the crab. You break the leg off, scoop out a little bit of the lung there, give her a little mix of roux. I'm gonna slurp her down a little bit so I got some room for the good stuff. Oh, that's phenomenal. Now the best part of all. Little mixer, little mixer, and down the hatch she goes. That's a win, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, the crab shot. Oh boy. As if the appetizers couldn't get any better. Mmm. Mmm. What a treat. Cheers. Cheers. Alrighty. Time is now. The munch has gone hard. Not quite full on crab, but we're getting there. This is hot. Go go fish. All right, nice and flaky. He's looking done. Could use a second to cool down a little bit before we put them on the bun. That'll work. A little sauce on each side of the bun. Can't go wrong with a lot of sauce, you guys. This is probably one of the most flavorful parts other than the fish. Chuga, bun, burger. Here you go, Captain. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for an amazing day. Right yes. there. Cheers. Woo I like it. Double pick. Big on. Bam. Wham. Jam. Slam. Look at how beautiful that meat is. Nice and flaky, tender, full of juices. Mm, that's a combo made in heaven right there. Look at all that juice dripping down. Perfect ending to a perfect day. Who knows what tomorrow holds. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, cheers. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> we didn't save you one, sorry. He's pissed. Oh well. Check it out, world. We're in.
friend pretty bird. What a beautiful day. Oh my god, look at that ocean. There's not even a wave. And that, everybody, is how we're putting the boat in today. Believe it or not, this is gonna be crazy. First and foremost, day number two, the scenery is absolutely blowing me away. Sunrise day number one was incredible, but this scenery in this part of the Southern Oregon coast is, is so beautiful. The rock structures and the number one fact of all, the ocean is absolutely glass as we're launching in the morning. The anticipation is killing me at this point. It's time to get out to the deep blue. Well, if you ain't eating crab for breakfast around here, you ain't allowed on the boat. Mm. Couldn't get enough last night. Mm. Yeah. So everybody, this is gonna be quite the cool experience. This is mainly kind of the reason that we came down here, other than, of course, the Chase East Trophy size Lincoln was to launch the boat this way. I've never been to Port Orford before. I've been through it, never been actually down here to the port, but this is freaking unbelievable. The scenery is incredible. We got towers, we got cranes, we got boats. Look at this ocean today. I don't think anybody's gonna be getting sick out there. It's like a freaking lake. I, the, the name makes sense now, Pacific Pond Charters, and today is gonna be a good day, everybody. Let's put this boat in the air and get it in the water. We did it everybody, we're in the water. What a cool way to launch. I dig it. I dig it way hard. So, we're gonna stick to the plan. We're gonna head down south, uh, keep the two jig rods out from the back corners. But we're gonna, we're gonna head down to a super secret location that nobody ever goes to. And we're, we're gonna go fish it. And uh, we're gonna fish it. So, it's gonna be a good time. We got about 45 minutes to get down there from here, but uh, cheers to a good day. Descending. Goes, there's close. Jig, jig, boom. Oh, found it, found the bottom. Just as expected, we land on the ground, so we drop lines and it's fish on. Oh, another freaking beauty. Oh, God, he looks weird. <laughs> there he is. Got him what it is seems to be a trend with the yellow eye here so far so but we're looking for bait right now guys we're fishing on some grounds that we're gonna find some smaller rock fish get some bait set up in the boat and then it's back to find the real monster that we came for but first fish of the day oh same thing now they're really oh they just puked up a bunch of what are those i can't tell what that bait was can you see that come on in buddy oh wow what a nice yellow eye such a beautiful fish probably one of my favorites that we've caught really really pretty kind of like the canaries but again not legal to keep these ones looks like a giant goldfish doesn't it so cool all right send them back so put the hook through the lip bail open ah! 
Hello. Hey. What up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the best buddy bite. Just talking on the phone with my buddy Kale. Talking about our Alaska plans here in the next couple of days. And Whamski! We got a big one, boys! Oh, that's a good fish. Just took a bunch of line right at the beginning of that fight. I'll work them up to the surface here. See what we got on the end. Oh, yeah, it's heavy. Heavy. The coolest part of this fishing, you guys, we're in such a bountiful place, such a unique reef system that you don't really know what the hell's on the end of your line. We've already about three different species since we've been here. We've been here for 15 minutes. And this is by far the biggest one we've had on so far. So what is it? What is it? Oh, ling for sure. You have a perfect ling, dude. <laughs> First one of the day! Yeah! Toad toad. That's a good eater size too. Yes! First one down. That was easier than we thought. Sweet! What a beauty too. Wow. And only about a hundred and some feet of water less, right? What are we in? 90 feet. 90 feet. Hands on, vicious, beautiful fish. Sweet. Ling number one on the deck. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one. Got one. This one might be a sea cucumber. It's fighting like a sea cucumber. Oh, another China. All the way from China. Oh, what did he, he just spat up a baby crab. Interesting. Wow, a little red rock crab. Literally just coughed it up as soon as it got out of the water. Huh, neat. Check that out, Sean. Little sea cucumber. Uh, actually, sea cute. It's actually alive. You wanna eat it, Jordan? One thing that is such a surprise to me, and I've had the benefit of fishing up and down the Oregon and Washington coast a lot over my lifetime, and especially the last few years, and to just see the diversity of the biomass of these rockfish species here makes it so much fun. It's that kind of fishing that's so much live action, and, and it's so amazing because you don't know what you're going to bring up. You don't know what color the fish is going to be, what species it's going to be, how big it's going to be, or even what the heck it is going to be on the end of your line. I mean, for crying out loud, we caught a sea cucumber. Oh! We got our baby. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. The perfect size bait, too. Just big enough for that 50 pounder. Another hog. Oh, oh, oh. oh, dude, that is the best bait I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, there we go. Descending into the depths. Here comes the monster. So keep an eye on this, Jordan. We're gonna like swing this through the reef here with that live bait. Okay. And uh, we'll kind of like, we call this hit and run. We'll kind of bounce around the reef and drop it back in these holes and see if there's anything there. So we'll do this for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna, oh, right there. That, yep. that looked like a, like a fish. Yeah, it's hitting bottom there. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Don't think he has it though, right? He's just eating it. So reel into that a little bit. Yep. Nope. Oh, I don't know. It's weird. I think we're gonna pull a power move. Power move? Yeah. We're gonna get, give it a run, see if we can't find something down here to pan out for us. So. No worries. Look, at least one thing panned out. Look at that. Yeah. That's a chunk of munka there. Mm, yummy. So, because fishing is so good, we don't want to go over our limits. We bring in the lines, we head out a little bit deeper, and it's time to find us a giant. Nope. 
I think it's a rockfish. Or excuse me, I think it's a link hot. I'm not sure. If it is a link hot, it's not very big, so we're gonna let it go back down there, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's kinda like it's either there or not, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool, actually. That's probably cool, guys. One more species off the list, everyone. No shortage of action. Something was constantly happening all day. The lings were not on our side. Super cool fish there. This one here is a quillback. Mark species number, what, five for the day? At least, five or six. Super neat experience. And even a cooler fish. So like hypodermic needles. So pretty cool fish. And we're gonna put them on a descender and send them right down. The unfortunate reality is we caught about 100 fish today and not a single one of them was the giant that we came for. It just goes to say again how amazing this fishery is, especially on this part of the coast. There's such a biomass of fish. There are so many species and there's so much beauty to be seen down here. Unfortunately, we head back to the dock, unsuccessful on day two, but very successful in many ways. Well, I must say, I have eaten myself sick on seafood on this trip, but the beauty of it is, is seafood is one of the most plentiful and amazing resources that we have in the Pacific Northwest. It's so delicious and I never get tired of it. These fish that we caught, every basically every one that we've cooked and caught on this video, you can buy in a store somewhere. So I recommend highly you guys support your local fishermen, support your local fishing industry, and try some of these rockfish and some of these link cod because they are hands down some of the best seafood out there. All right, we are in this meal, everybody. It's time for feast number two. And on tonight's menu, we're doing the obvious choice, rockfish tacos. We're doing kind of a Tex-Mex seasoning on this. We're gonna put it right back into our instant potato mix. We're gonna use a little bit of Oregon Coast Finest Face Raw Creamery Cheese. We're doing a little pepper aged cheddar here. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Let's get this meal ready. I'm freaking starving. Each piece of fish here, I'm gonna try to cut the nice taco size pieces here. Each one of them will make a nice taco. Halfers there, beautiful. There's three different styles of rockfish in here. I didn't separate them as we were filleting those, so it's gonna be a mystery. But I know all of them are gonna taste good. They're all very, very similar fish, um, and they all come from the same place, so the taste can't be super duper different. Go a little bit of seasoning salt. And what I like to do, guys, as you know, a lot of my recipes, I like to season the fish first. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of that blackening seasoning because I don't have any taco seasoning on me. That'll give it kind of that Southwest flavor. And I'm gonna go with a little bit of basil and these poppy seeds. Pull that stuff around, get a good coating. Might do one more layer. Oh, yummy, that looks so good, everyone. Into my potatoes we go. This is gonna give it again that really nice crisp. It's gonna add a nice flavor to it. Have a little bit of crunch inside that taco. And I have one more little secret. Once the fish is done, I got a little secret. It's not really a secret. We've done it plenty of times in my man life. Does it damn near every video he makes in his fish tacos. But we're gonna use this aged cheddar, put it face down in the pan, do the tortilla on top of it, and we're gonna have that nice crispy, cheesy goodness on that tortilla when we go to make it. So let's get this thing underway. Oil to heat up. I'm gonna dice these onions up nice and small. So with my tomatoes. Whack up some of this cilantro. My lechuga. 
into the pan we go. Oh my god, yum. On the flip side, oh, crispy, tender goodness. Totally worth the third degree burns. We're going with a little bit of the Kinder's fire roasted wing sauce. Absolutely perfect. It's a great Tex-Mex flavor. Very smoky and fire roasted. They weren't kidding in the name. God, that's good. Okay, the rest of our fish is done. Do my best to keep these pieces together, but this stuff is so light and flaky. It's hard to keep it in those chunks, but oh my God, look at that. Look at that color. Look at how flaky and firm it is. That is absolutely gorgeous fish. Take my ch, -ch, -ch, ch cheese lay it in the pan. You want to let that cheese get all the way melted so it kind of disperses out on the pan, and then we're going to throw our tortilla in on top of it. Go for the tortilla. Put a little skinny knee. Wow, there it is. Melty, cheesy goodness. Big chunk of fish. Get the lettuce in first. Nice, healthy portion. Cilantro, tomatoes, onion, and our sauce. Would you just take a look at it, April? Just look at it. Would you just have a look at it? That's good living right there. Time to eat. Bone appetite. Wow, that's good. Mm. What a way to live. Enjoying the harvest of the day. Watching the sunset over the Pacific. Birds chirping in the background. This is a good trip. Well, winding down this trip, I have to say thank you so much, Jeff. We had such an incredible time. And if you guys want to come down to Southern Oregon and meet Jeff and get to go out on this beautiful boat in this beautiful place and have the time of your life, be sure to check out the links in the description of their website. This is definitely a trip that I will be coming back for and I will not forget until the next time because I know there's bigger ones out there. Thank you all so much for tuning in this week, everybody. Until next time, you all stay fishy. We'll see you out there.